Well, last year, the Odessa City Council approved the name change of East Loop 338, and it was to the Racy Stoker Memorial Highway. So yeah. next week, they're going to be having a special dedication, and this is all towards Ray Stoker. So if you've been here for a while in the basin, he was, you know who this man he is. was a transportation hero, I guess is what you, they would call him. Absolutely. And come the 19th, like you were saying, the unveiling of his new memorial signs is going to take place from the city to honor this West Texas transportation legend. Without Ray Stoker Jr., it's kind of hard to imagine what these roads and traffic flow would even look like. Yeah. Take a look. Ray Stoker Jr., born and raised in Odessa, who made his way as a successful attorney and fulfilled his passion for improving infrastructure and transportation in West Texas. He became the first director of TxDOT, which is the Texas Department of Transportation, and served out his second term uh, through Governor Bush and then retired, where he kind of took a behind-the-scenes role, uh, still advocating for West Texas and still making sure that um, even though we don't have a whole lot of representation on this side of 35, that those transportation dollars came out here because it was so important to industry and agriculture and just the way of life out here. And if you live here or happen to pass by often, you know exactly what 191 is and Loop 250, 338, all of which would be nothing without him and his tireless fight for transportation bucks. At times, we all complain that it, it doesn't do that quite efficiently, but just imagine if we didn't have those, those key pieces of in infrastructure to make sure that our traffic uh, was Continuing on. Ray Stoker died of a lung cancer back in August of 2018, but his legacy and memory lives on not just with memorials, but with the way our immediate traffic flows today. He did not do anything for the recognition and you know, frankly was embarrassed by it. So we, we just kind of get a laugh out of this. And he was honored at his retirement with um, a ferry boat that goes from Galveston to Bolivar when you're down at the coast and you take those ferries, they're all named after former commissioners and, and it's just kind of fun to see those names of people that, that I knew growing up. And it gave me a foundation to, you know, come in and really understand how to make a difference and um, how to talk to people and how to how to kind of get things done behind the scenes when when nobody's looking and that that really can make a difference and, and that's what he always tried to do was make that difference behind the scenes because you know the the, the end goal was much more important than any sort of recognition. So uh, Ray Stoker would have been 81 this year. Yeah. So it's just nice that his legacy is continuing to live on for sure. Absolutely. And you know what? That unveiling is going to be the 19th. That's next week. I believe it's like a Thursday. I don't know. Thursday. We don't know. <laughs> March 19th. 19th. Okay. Yes. And the mayor and uh, Brooks Landgraf is going to be there paying their dues, um, showing their support. And it's going to be great. We're going to be out there. We're going to update you with all that information.